Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Pants Born of Azomas, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the tournament winners at BlizzCon as well as some of the announcements that were made. I was going to do a video on like the dance and costume contest, but I looked on YouTube and there's like a bajillion videos of the dance and costume contest, so I didn't want to be like redundant. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up! announcement this year at BlizzCon was that the new class in Diablo 3 will be the Demon Hunter. I personally am really looking forward to Diablo 3 and that is probably the class that I'll play. Check out the link right here. If annotations aren't working, the link will also be in the sub bar um, to check out the preview for the Demon Hunter. She looks awesome. Um, I'm really, really excited for this class. It was also announced at BlizzCon that Diablo 3 will feature a battle arena, much like a 3v3 arena in World of Warcraft. Um, it looks super, super fun. They did have like open gaming stations set up, but the lines were like super, super, really, really, really long. I didn't end up playing Diablo, unfortunately, because I was very intimidated by the length of that line. <laughs> Impatience killed the cat. No, I don't think that statement applies here. <laughs> Anyways. One of my favorite parts of BlizzCon was the tournaments. Um, I think it's really cool to be able to see pro gamers game live. They're in like these glass, like soundproof boxes. I just, I think it's really cool. To kick off the weekend, the Kings of StarCraft II, uh, Slayer's Boxer and Fruit Dealer went head-to-head -head in a 1v1 best out of three match. It was a little unfortunate though because I was in the main hall watching this match and I had gotten these great seats. I mean, I was like a row from the front. It was crazy. I was so excited and there was no sound. <laughs> there was no sound and I was just getting over the fact that there wasn't going to be any sound and I was going to have to, you know, commentate in my head, turn on Husky's voice. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I was really excited to watch this match, and it, there was no sound, and then like two minutes into the match, they lost video feed, too. So the crowd starts going crazy, and then like halfway through the second match, the audio and video came back. So it was unfortunate because I didn't actually get to see like a whole, like half of the, the last half of the first match and the first half of the second match. Um, but yeah, it, it, was, it was definitely, what I saw was really awesome, and since BlizzCon, I've been like straight up addicted to StarCraft. Um, so, uh, thank you, Fruit Dealer, that is all your fault. <laughs> as far as the StarCraft II tournament goes, Loner was facing Next Genius for the title this year, and, um, Next Genius was actually in the consolation bracket, so in order to win, he had to win two out of three, best two out of three matches, and he actually won it. He won four in a row. It was really awesome. He played very, very well, um, and he kind of came out of nowhere, like nobody really expected him to like just win four in a row. So, uh, congrats to you, Next Genius. The WoW 3v3 tournament was nuts this year. Um, the final two teams were Against All Authority, which was a French team, and Complexity Red, which was an American team. And Complexity Red was in the consolation bracket, so they had to win, again, two out of three best out of five matches. And Against All Authority had been uh, undefeated the entire the entire tournament. Nobody had beat them. I mean, they had beat them in like little matches, but nobody had actually won over them yet. Um, and Complexity Red was in the Constellation bracket, so they were kind of like the underdogs. And in the first game of the, you know, best two out of three, they won three to two, and it was like epic, and everybody was so excited. And then, so the second match is going on, and they're up two to one, and it's just really like on the edge of your seat moment, because if they won this game, they were going to win the whole tournament. And just, like, just barely, Complexity Red kills AAA's Warlock to win the game. And the crowd goes wild, and everybody's freaking out, and they're so excited. And then the leader of Against All Authority goes to the referees and wants the referees to, like, review the game. And it turns out the game was just barely over the 20-minute timer, like, seconds. Like, seconds over the 20-minute timer. So they gave that match to Against All Authority, so that was tied them up 2-2. Two to two. And then Against All Authority played super defensive the last match and ended up winning. So it was like a huge upset because, you know, Complexity Red actually did think they win. And, and morale is a huge part of competitive anything, uh, whether it's sports or gaming or eating hot dogs. <laughs> I'm hungry. I haven't eaten lunch yet. <laughs> so I don't know. When their morale was kind of squished, when they thought they won and then the win was kind of taken away from them, I, I really think that that kind of messed with their game and I, I really, my heart goes out to them because they deserve to win that and in my mind, Complexity Red, Red won no matter who uh, actually got the title this year. So 
Um, I, I congratulations to both teams in that situation because I mean, against all authority was the technical winner, but collect, Complexity Red played awesome. They made an awesome comeback. And again, in my mind, you won. Two seconds on the timer or not, you won. So the Warcraft 3 tournament wasn't as anticipated as the other two tournaments, but for hardcore Warcraft fans, it was a great tournament. Remind, who was the favorite to win, did end up going completely undefeated and took the took the title, and he is considered to be the best Warcraft 3 player in the world. So big congratulations to Remind, although you've probably been given so many congratulations lately that you don't need them, but you're awesome. <laughs> I digress, back to announcements. Um, we were all hoping this year that StarCraft 2 um, Heart of the Swarm would be announced, like a release date for that would be announced. Um, definitely didn't even hear really too much about Heart of the Swarm. Um, but the big news with StarCraft 2 was that there are four new uh, developer-created custom games that will be released for free to anybody who has StarCraft 2, and they were really cool. Um, the first one is Star Jeweled, and Star Jeweled does not surprise me at all because Blizzard has had a history with PopCap games with the Bejeweled and the Peggled add-ons for World of Warcraft as well as the highly anticipated Police Bloom vs. Ghouls that will be at Hillsbrack Foothills and Cataclysm. So I mean it came to me as no surprise that Blizzard would try to incorporate a PopCap game into StarCraft 2, especially with its popularity. And Star Jeweled is a really cool game. There's like a little, like a little, it almost looks like a Bejeweled box over in this screen. Uh, and then you have like the other two thirds of your screen and then every time that you match three up you get energy and then you use that energy to play a, a, like a lane defense game. Um, it's a pretty cool game and if you like Bejeweled you'll definitely like it because I'm, I'm sick at Bejeweled. I'm not going to lie, like I'm one of the best Bejeweled players I've ever met. <laughs> the next uh, custom game that was announced at BlizzCon was Left to Die, which is obviously a playoff of the game Left 4 Dead, so it's actually like a zombie defense game. And it plays in waves, where like at night these like zombie scourge come in waves and attack you. And then it goes to like a day phase, and during the day you have to send your army out and play like an offensive game where you go and kill the like infected like buildings. So it's a really cool game, and I think as far as like all of the games that they released, this is going to be the one that like the hardcore StarCraft fans like the most, because it plays the most like a real-time strategy, and it also has, it's, it's very challenging, it's, it's, it's not an easy game. I think that the hardcore StarCraft fans are really going to like this one, and I think Left to Die will be around for years to come. The third custom game that was released at BlizzCon is StarCraft 2 Dota, which is almost a straight remake of the original uh, Warcraft 3 mod. Uh, the only thing is that the heroes in this game are fucking awesome. The heroes include Sylvanas and Raynor and Grunty the Murloc, and you can even be Torn Chieftain. It's, it's really cool. If you like games like League of Legends and you enjoy the Dota mods for uh, Warcraft 3, you will definitely enjoy this one. I think it's going to be really popular. And the last StarCraft 2 custom game that was announced at Blizzard is probably the silliest out of all of them, but also, the most addicting, it's called Our Chef, which I probably pronounced that wrong, but you guys are used to that by now. <laughs> the name is a pun off of Iron Chef. It's really cool. You have these little Protoss Z lots, and they're actually wearing chef hats and carrying rolling pins. And you have to like go around the map and collect ingredients, and then bring them back to like your base and like create recipes, and then you play against other players, and at the end of the time limit, whoever has made the most recipes will have the most points and will have won. Um, really addicting. Uh, that's the one thing about this game. It sounds silly, but I think anybody who plays it is going to be like, oh, I have to do it again, I have to do it again. It's like one of those types of games uh, where you can't just play one. Like chips. I can't eat just one chip. I'm See, I'm still talking about food. I'm so hungry. After this video, I'm not editing. I'm going to go straight to food, and then I'll edit later. I'll edit while I'm eating. Is that okay? Can I do that? I'm doing that. You have no say. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this recap of all the stuff that kind of happened at BlizzCon. And the next video will be a more normal video, uh, probably on some of the changes that have taken place and things like that. I don't really know. I don't plan that far ahead of time. But the next video will probably be more normal and less BlizzCon related. Um, if you want to see some more BlizzCon pictures that I took, um, as well as fan pictures, link to my Facebook uh, fan page is in the underbar. Also, if you've been like wanting to chat with me and I haven't necessarily answered your comments or anything like that, like my YouTube is chaos. Um, the best way to like get a response from me is via Twitter. Twitter is also in the underbar, so I hope to see you there. Um, the next shipment of t-shirts comes out November 9th, uh, and if you tweet, there's like an official tweet button on the page for my t-shirts. If you tweet it on Fridays, you have a chance of winning the shirt for free. 
Um, so check out the link to my shirts in the underbar, and you could have a chance at winning one for free if you just tweeted on Fridays. That's all you have to do. You don't have to set up an account or anything. Uh, you just go on your Twitter and say that you like my shirt, and then you're entered to win it. Good luck with that. Let's check out today's screenshot of the day. And it looks like that's my cue, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.